Mm-hmm. These species, these organisms are surviving in an environment where we cannot even imagine to live. So the question is that how come these things are able to survive in these conditions in one of some of the most filthy places known to man, yet they are not being killed by the presence of the superbug. So be, given the hypothesis, given the uniqueness, this nature of this material that we are obtaining, we are pretty optimistic that we will come across something which is… Um, novel and will be potent against some of these bugs. So pick this up. Okay. And then and I'm now he's cutting his head off with the scalpel. Now you can see head has been, rest of the body has been removed. And I think that's very important that we don't want contamin contaminants from… Family? No, that's me, that's university. Oh, okay. So, the major problem at the moment uh, is infectious diseases and we have uh, more than 14 million deaths annually worldwide um, uh, due to infectious diseases. And I think the worrying thing to me personally is that these numbers have remained significant despite our advances. And even more worryingly that some of these bacterial pathogens are developing resistance against many of the antibiotics that we have at our disposal. So the idea here was that we need to look for rare sources or new sources for the presence of novel new antimicrobials. Uh, their, their skull is quite hard, as you can imagine, and that's a neat cut. You can see it here as well, more clearly, I think. In here, this is where the brain is. Basically, brain is… Uh, have lobes, so you just pick them up and then scoop it like that and then put it in this tube here. <laughs> we need to have an approach where we are looking at many different ways of controlling these infections rather than focusing only on one aspect, which is antimicrobial discovery, which is a very important area but should not be the only focal point. Simply mix them using Vortex. Make sure that they're d dissolved properly. So all we do is that put this into this centrifugation tube. And then play it. The real things you need to have are... Research like Dr. Khan's, um, where there's a possibility of developing a novel antimicrobial compound, that is just amazing. If we could find um, a new compound which can treat a lot of these MRSA or E. coli or bacterial infections here, we wouldn't need to rely on such... Um, there's only one or two antibiotics available at the moment which do treat multi-drug resistant infections. So if, if we can find something like this, um, if, we c if he can produce a compound, then this will be great for us. We are de in desperate need for some new drugs here.